Gaming News. A group of students from Oswego East High School have developed a device to help people with visual limitations navigate their environment. Their device will have a large community impact because according to the American Foundation for the Blind, in the United States, the percentage of the population that is blind or severely visually impaired is estimated to be 4.4%. WHO statistics estimate that a total of 285 million people are severely visually impaired and 39 million of those people are blind. People with visual disabilities can struggle to effectively navigate their school or workplace. This results in the unemployment rate for people who are severely visually impaired being 70%. Current tools to help people with visual disabilities navigate are canes and large, expensive headsets that use LiDAR to sense the wearer's surroundings. Cane navigation can be cumbersome and not very fluid. Also, cane users can't detect overhead barriers. LiDAR headsets are currently only in the prototype stage, costly, unsightly, and their weight can hinder mobility. I am now being virtually joined by three students from this group to tell us more about the problem they are trying to solve and their solution. One problem our group is trying to solve is that there is no inexpensive, compact way for the blind or visually impaired to fluidly sense their surroundings or navigate their environment with, without making direct or indirect contact with objects around them. This problem prompted us to develop the VizWiz. The VizWiz is a one-of-a-kind, inexpensive, smart backpack that uses the principles of neuroplasticity to help the visually impaired navigate their environment. The backpack has six ultrasonic sensors that detect the distance between the wearer and surrounding obstacles. Six servos mounted on the backpack press into the user's back at varying intensities to communicate the information gathered from the ultrasonic sensors to the user. Over time, the user will begin to associate the position of the servos pressing into their back with information about their surroundings. We use the engineering design process to develop our device and our solution uses a variety of STEM principles to function. Our device uses the aforementioned ultrasonic sensors and servos as well as an Arduino microcontroller that we coded in C++. Our backpack uses mathematics to determine the user's distance from surrounding objects and to communicate this information to the user through the rotation of servos. To learn more about the extent of the problem of visually impaired navigation, we consulted our town's mayor, Troy Parlier. The VizWiz is going to have a great impact on not just the students in our community, but I can see that being used for adults. We work with the special education department of other schools in our community to test our device. Do you think this could be helpful for you? Yes! So this device is useful for you? Yes, it is. Um, I definitely see the benefit for the potential of our students and even adults. Um, the ideas of being able to get information outside of just utilizing paint um, would definitely be very beneficial. Would you like a working prototype donated to the school? If we were able to get something like that, I would definitely be able to utilize it a lot with students. Our team is currently working on improving the VizWiz based on feedback from our testing. After seeing how much our device could help students and others in our community, we have also decided to work on fundraising to donate the VizWiz to people in need of it.